I study the way that our internal cognitive states, what's going on in our head, what we're thinking about, affects our ability to perceive the world around us. So in particular, I focus on the neural basis of vision. And we've studied, and the field has studied for a long time, the way that different cognitive states affect vision. And in particular, one that we focus on is visual attention. So you can be looking at one thing and focusing on something else. So you might have a conversation with somebody, but you might hear something very interesting in the background. You might sort of focus your attention off on the periphery. And we know a lot about what that process does both in the brain and to our ability to see. So the reason you do focus your attention somewhere else is that that lets you see better over there. But what we wondered was, well, what happens when your attention wanders? What happens when your attention, you, you're supposed to be paying attention to one thing, but your attention really drifts somewhere else? How does that affect your ability to see? And so ch attention changes the firing rates of neurons in visual cortex. And we measured the responses of groups of neurons in visual cortex to get a hint of when animals' attention was wandering. And then we measured their ability to see. And it turns out that by recording from just a few dozen neurons, you can really tell very precisely when somebody's attention has wandered. And it has a huge effect on their ability to see subtle things. So for us as scientists, that's an exciting thing because it tells us we can record enough neurons to know very precisely where someone's focus of attention is. And that will allow us in the future, we hope to learn things about how attention works and also about how other cognitive states might, might affect perception and might affect the brain. I enjoy a lot of things about my research and, you know, from the day-to-day -day just tinkering in the lab, but for me the, the big questions are the most exciting. So everything we know about the world around us, we know because of the firing of neurons in our brains. And what I get to do is listen to those neurons firing and try to understand the code that, that translates the world around us to what we know about it. One of the, the really nice things about this prize is that it focuses on young scientists. And I, I just started my lab a year ago. And I hope that, that this prize will draw attention to the sort of work that we do and hopefully get other young scientists interested in doing this type of research.